Suspect CBN governor Godwin Emefiele will Japa and leave Nigeria if admitted to bail. At the General Federation, DSS tells the court. So the DSS and the AGF are saying that if Emefiele is granted bail, he's likely going to leave Nigeria. But these ones, I don't understand why this, why he should leave Nigeria even after immigration has seized his document. I think the other immigration or DSS, they have seized his passport. So how is he going to Japa? Hmm? How? Is he going to Japa without passport or how? Okay. So that is what I see here. Uh, I don't understand why, how this is true. Uh, is there a reason to continue to keep a, a, a Mephila in their custody in detention without allowing him some level of freedom or what? So let's see how what they mean and uh, the, the excuse they have. The Department of State Services, DSS, has told the Federal Capital Territory High Court that suspended Central Bank Governor Godwin Emefiele will flee the country if granted bail. Hmm. The service which, like the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation, uh, defended the continued detention of Emefiele described him as a flight risk. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's a flight risk. So they stated this in separate counter affidavit filed in a fundamental rights enforcement suit by the suspended CBA governor. So why the uh, AGF um, argued that MFLS life was not in danger to warrant him being granted bail, the DSS warned that he could interfere with his investigations if released. Can you imagine? So after the resumed hearing of the suit in which MFLA is challenging his detention yesterday, the DSS denied not allowing his family uh, members and lawyers to visit him. It is uh, in his own affidavit, the Attorney General of Federation dismissed the speculation that MFLA was being held for terrorist-related uh, crimes. It also uh, said he was not being victimized for his involvement in politics and the Bosch Naira redesign policy. So the Attorney General Federation said issues of terrorism, financing, and fraudulent activities are not part of the grounds for which the arrest and detention of the applicant was made. The respondent has not violated the applicant's right to uh, leave in any way. His life is not in danger. The respondent did not subject the applicant did not subject the applicant to any judicial adjudication to warrant the allegation of denial of a fair hearing. So with the remand order issued by a court of competent jurisdiction, the said violation of the applicant's right to freedom of movement does not arise. Okay, so the respondent did not subject the applicant to any torture, the details of which have not been provided. So what I say, what DSS is saying here, is that there's no threat to Mephiles' life while in detention. There's no problem with him. There's no health issues. And so they cannot grant him bail because it was his arrest and the warrant was actually formed and granted by a court of competent jurisdiction. And that if they, and they have not said his lawyers and his family members should not see him. They have not restricted him from being seen by his loved ones and by his lawyers. Okay. So the issue of uh, bill here should not arise. The issue of, uh, you know, maltreatment should not arise. That's what DSS is saying here. And finally, they are saying that if they allow a Mephile to be, uh, to be released or granted bail, that a Mephile is a flight risk. That means he, there's a very high tendency that a Mephile will flee the shores of Nigeria and go on exile. Okay, somebody say this life, whenever you are up, never forget that you will surely come down. Either something uh, or you bring yourself down. Be careful of how you count your steps. Hmm. I'm sure this is with respect to, uh, what is his name, uh, Mephele, has gone up and now to come down 
It's a big wahala. <laughs> okay. So um so it means that from what I can see here, it means that DSS is obviously not willing to release the MFLA for now. They don't want to release him to anywhere, they don't want to release him for anything because they see him as a flight risk. Once his two legs touches the free world, he's going to flee the shore of Nigeria and possibly go on exile until somebody who can uh, probably uh, handle him will come to power. So to avoid him fleeing the shore of Nigeria, uh, DSS has refused to release him. Okay? DSS has refused to release him. Wow. So, Mephiela, this is, this is how... Yeah, so what is the sense of being a big man if after some years in office or after rendering your service, the so-called service in quotes anyway, you are going to be humiliated like this? Because right now, I think Mephiela and the... Uh, what is his name? Bawa, the EFCC boss, are uh, currently being uh, 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 frustrated and uh, relegated. Okay, uh, what I see happening to them is more like I don't know how to put it. <laughs> Having risen to that level of status in life, now look at the way they are being humiliated now because of what corrupt practices. So now it pays to be pure okay so it's better you have just few knowledge in your pocket and you are pure your hands are clean you're not corrupt than somebody who has acquired the heritage of the world with everything in need but it's not pure because it's either you're convicted here on it by the lawyer or you still be convicted even in heaven to come for covetousness actually these people were larger than life when they were in power and up to now that it feeling like they are larger than life Okay, so this is uh, a very bad one for Mephiele to hear that they have uh, not granted him bail up to now that are still working on the proceedings, on the process. Okay, but the fact is, so, but CBN, not, uh, what is his name, uh, um, uh, DSS, okay, is scared that this man will flee the shores of Nigeria if he is released even for one day and that is a very bad one for him so he's going to remain there until investigations are over they're also saying that they why they don't want to release him is that he can he has the power to influence the case that is being charged on him by the court okay so to, it's better to keep him where uh, his influence is reduced at uh, to the barest minimum to the barest minimum you might feel like sorry Press your button if you know your hands are clean so I can get out of this mess. Otherwise, <laughs> you have to pay. You have to pay. Alright, thank you for listening and let's have a comment.